<clears throat> All right, so Jake Paul and George Janko. Yeah. Right? Full uh impulsive podcast. Well, Logan Paul. Logan, my bad. Yeah. I knew I was messing that up. Uh Logan Shout Paul and George Janko. From the Impulsive Podcast, also Mike Menelak, I think it is how you say it, something How'd you like that. that? Yeah, <laughs> not a like a. But um, also over the last two weeks, they've been going back and forth. So Mike did an interview over with George Janko first, and George Janko just like let the chopper go. It was like, these are all the problems that I have with Logan. Like he's this, he's this, he did this to mm -hmm. me, blah blah blah. He and you did one. this too. He, he he ain't the only one to blame. You was fake as fuck in that situation yeah. too because you did this, this, and that. Like. He's on his redemption arc right yeah, now. Yeah, and he did a full thing, and he did, he wasn't just saying things. He had the receipts to prove he it. He had, too. like, proof. Like, it was almost, like, they didn't know they were being invited to his therapy session. Yeah, to get that shit off, Like, for real. They, he had no idea. And it came saying? around full circle because Bobby Lee was one of the big points of contention as well. That yeah, interview, Bobby, Lee, Bobby Lee just did his interview with George. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... He, he's going on the full redemption tour, nigga. He really is. It, yeah. It's really the Christian path because he did find his religion recently. Yeah. And this is what Christ would want you to do. And Well, I feel like this has been the last year because when he, he split from Impulsive at least a little bit over a year ago. Yeah. At least a little bit over a year ago. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, it's at least. I, it sounds about right. Yeah. At this point in time, you know, things are happening so fast. Who knows? But yeah, shout out to Bobby, uh, you know, um, for apologizing. You know, that was the righteous thing to do. Because it was they never, the man thing to do. My fault. But they never really had real beef. Like, that whole contention was really between him and his homie. And Mike, yeah. It was just yeah. a reflection of Bobby. Because, like, you know, Bobby Lee going to do what he do. He going to touch you. Yeah. He going to be, he's going to try to make you feel uncomfortable. He's going to you for sure. It was the, the fact that they made him a bitch. The, yeah. the, the bitch of the room. Yeah. And that any guest can pick up on this is the nigga we bully up and team up on. Mm -hmm. That was the issue. Yeah. When they were actually supposed to be best friends. It's like you don't put your homie up for a platter like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and he you let found, him do it to himself. He, he found out that his uh, friend ranking or whatever had got readjusted. He realized he exactly. was at the bottom of the total. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> He had to find I mean, a new guy. Even when you watch Logan's response, bro, Logan is not good at just looking human. I feel like he's just not good at defending himself against fucked up things. It would just be a lot easier if he just said, yeah, fuck him. I did that. You know, it would just be a lot. It'd they'd be a lot easier, but. But the truth. You think Logan's that gangster, though? Nah. He's not real enough for that. That's why he's the perfect. Like, he's wrestler. fake enough to give us apologies that have us looking at him like, bro, you could have just kept it real at this point because you look yeah. crazy. Trying to justify the shit that you do. He's playing a different game than most people in the content business. Like Jake, I feel like uh, Logan, Logan, both of them. But for uh, Logan specifically, I feel like he thinks he's going to be Tom Cruise when he's fifty. You think he's got that? That's what he's trying to prepare for. Yeah. You could tell by the moves that he's making. He wants yeah. to be like that guy. Be he's he's taking the uh, the, he, the rock type of uh, yeah. avenue. Bang and, and to be fair, he's doing it. Like he's on the trajectory. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's yeah. on the trajectory. When you think. He's got a full wrestling career. They did the celebrity yeah. boxing. Of course, the, I mean, just the foundation of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Then it was just the prime thing. The prime thing literally is about to boost him into billionaire status. Yeah. Even and though it might be, you know, hurting some kids. Allegedly. Even though it's probably probably the worst hell, uh, sports drink to drink, mm -hmm. it don't matter. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So Giving kids I mean, he damn near doing it. And I see yeah. the nigga wrestle. The nigga ain't bad. I ain't going to lie. His, That's wrestling for sure. His not. wrestling is kind of crazy. He's yeah, good not. at being fake. Yeah, yeah. So... He is on the trajectory. It's just he's hated by a lot of people. And, and down to his brother. So. Yeah. Maybe his brother don't hate him, but we all feel the, 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 the tension. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's, it's crazy. Like, usually people like Logan or, like, just people like that, they hate themselves. <clears throat> but, nigga, Logan seems like, you know, like, he flourishes. He revels in being him. You know yes, what I mean? Yeah. It's no like he looks in the mirror and, like, kind of gets sad. It's like he, like, he kind of. Nah. Because he, he probably thinks he deserves all this. <clears throat> The way that I've heard people talk about him, it, he seems like somebody that would sacrifice chickens and goats to get where he needs to go. So I, every, for him, when I look at him, I think anything is possible. Everybody what do you that think it takes say, to be Tom Cruise? Exactly. Scientology, yeah. Scientology loaded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that they say about Adam is probably what Logan really is. Like the nigga who just really sits down and like yeah. thinks about how he's gonna plan. It literally, you know what I mean. His co-host, his co-host demise. I'm gonna fill that with caffeine. The, the ceremonies that we yeah. that people think Adam is conducting, 
when Adam is just busting more nuts than the average man. Ironically, it's on film, it's on the on film. It's the other nigga it's doing the, that. The crazy. blonde haired dude with no tattoos. Nigga. Yeah, like come on. It's always the person that appears perfect or yeah. that's appearing positive. I did. I do wish we brought that up because Adam said that he, Adam twenty two. For those who don't know, he did. He said that he's got strong opinions opinions about George Janko. But every time I see George Janko, I'll be like, seems like a pretty balanced and pretty good guy. Man of God. Every a, time, every time honest, I see him. I So I didn't finish the uh, Bobby Lee and his episode. but in I the, watched the important parts. In the comments, yeah. they said there was a prayer during that shit. I'm not surprised. They said he took Bobby's hands. It was like, Bobby, can we pray real quick? Yeah. So I don't know. That might be rubbing people the wrong way. It, he could be like, nigga, a super. He, he could be a fan. But you got to think. <laughs> he could be a fan he a outside fan, of all this. He could be but a fan of Jesus. I feel like he, he got a fan. He a yeah. fan. He a fan. That's crazy. It's better than being a 69 guy. But <laughs> right, right. I feel like he got to double down on it because that's part of why he left. Like, yeah. there wasn't holding his back. There was making fun of his religion. So he was like, nigga, I'm going to be me. And I mean, I'm not even we the most praying on the pod from now on. Yeah, and I'm not even the most religious person, but that was fucked up. Like, I don't your even... best friend is choosing Christianity or just choosing religion. Essentially trying to make himself better and you are shitting on him weekly. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. that is like, because even if you don't agree with 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 a religion, nine times out of ten, the person's just, just trying to do better. Yep. So if you don't if, if, if it's an issue that your nigga is getting better, well and it, it, that's that is the true, but it's, we can't be hypocrites. Okay, no, we mean? cannot be hypocrites. No, because when our co host made his journey, <laughs> We ridiculed him the whole time. We did. But, but his we ridiculed him from the very went, start. But he went he, he went did. the hardest. He did. He did. On the I other side. The so he brought it on to himself. It's, it's, yeah, it's, he, yeah, he imagine brought it on to himself. Imagine you if George was an atheist. Imagine if George was an atheist first and then was like, uh, I'm going to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, the yes. context is it's different. It's yes. different. Since it's different. you went so, so far left against spiritual, miracle, lyrical and shit. And I'm not going to lie. Crystals are different than religion. I'm shitting on crystals. Mm. I'm not going to shit on a nigga's religion. Because, you know, pebbles are different than, like, pages you know that, that have been read for thousands of years. That millions of people are moved off of. I'm not going to go hard. But a crystal? A, cr a, that, week, I a got crystal. Some, jokes for some, some lady <laughs> yeah. with copper. With with the bloodstone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, I, just, she just got the last one. Yeah. Where you that? Where's, where's your gold pink uh, Ankh chain at. No, don't we worry was, about my jewelry, what, nigga. Because a, 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 a real bloodstone is better than fake gold, nigga. Hold don't up. ever disrespect my bloodstone. Hold up, but what we were that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But, that's crazy. But, that's crazy. But when we they said we're more than that bullshit <laughs> copper you got on your neck. When we the, was in LA, you more. remember that girl was like, he was like, this is a bloodstone. Yeah. And she was like, but is it though? But is it? Oh, you remember? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, Whoa, guys, I guys, about that shit. guys, yo, she guys. looked at, she was like, ew, what okay. the fuck? <laughs> guys, Lauren, Lauren, I swear to God, and guess what? The bitch sold crystals on the side. She was trying to make me buy her work. Or she was trying to make me trade my black woman for her. That's what she was trying to do, guys. That's, That's what I'm saying. She, or she was an expert yeah, in real life. Yeah, yeah, or she was an expert yeah, in yeah. crystals. He got Stockholm syndrome. Fuck y'all niggas, She could have been. She could have been. She said she owned the store. Nigga, she lit, like, what is this supposed to be? She was examining that shit. Like yeah. all she was, all she, she was, was missing, looking, yeah. uh -huh. all she was missing was that little diamond. She put the thing. diamond. She put the diamond. Yeah, she put the diamond test into this nigga shit. Lord, she put the diamond test into it. Oh, damn. I held up my flashlight to it. She was like, "I'm trying to see how the how the light passes." I was like, "Look, look at how that's not copper." That's not true, man. I I don't even believe her. She looked Puerto Rican. She don't even look black. She's not even black, nigga. We only trust black women's opinions. Are you wearing it today? She was happy. Are you wearing it today? They don't feel the same. Damn, it had an effect I'm on not me, feeling, huh? I'm not wearing it. Wow. Damn. I'm not wearing it. That's why you're so angry. I had to rush out the house. I had to pick up my uh I had to chaperone Tony. Yeah, where how do we at? get how do we get here to Crystal's? Oh, we were talking, oh, about, religion. Religion. We were talking religion. about George Jacob. Exactly. Yeah. Religion. Yeah. Religion. Nigga, yeah. All because that we got right. But um this so, yeah. is so so you can't disrespect it, religion though. Religion is completely Especially different. Especially because, yeah. like you said, yeah. you're trying to grow. And granted, if one of us was trying to be better in something in life, we would we we'll poke fun at it, but we're not, not going to double but down. But not on every crazy. week. It's yeah. not like a and maybe not on the pod. But if Lauren found Jesus, come on now. I love, I love, <laughs> yeah. I love God. What do you mean I love? Jesus? But like real, but like, he, real. But like real but, Jesus. But, real but, Jesus. Like, but, made me sound like I'm some sort of heathen. What you mean? But you kind of like fake Jesus right now. But Logan mm. was disrespectful with it though. He was like, 
He was like, you're telling me you're dedicating to some shit that's not real? Like, he was disrespectful. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, it, was, crazy. it wasn't crazy. It wasn't just like, yeah, oh, you, crazy. oh, you're a religious man now. It was like... <laughs> this nigga praying to Peter like, Pan. You know you're praying to some bullshit, right? Like, it was uh, it was disrespectful. And George so, isn't yeah. the type of individual to, like, mm. just separate himself from God and yeah. actually retort what the fuck you just said on in, like, a yeah. funny way in a stand-up manner. Cause he's a comedian, right? He is a right? stand up though. Yeah, he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, his podcast is booming too. Yeah, he's doing. Yes. He's doing Apparently that shit. It's he, good too. A nigga, Apparently, he's doing better than Paul. Podcast, uh, podcast, pre, uh, shit, cringe, cringe. Put it into perspective. He was like, Joe Rogan's doing about forty million a month. That's right. George Jenkins is doing like thirty. No, fifty. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joe Rogan fifty. George Janko thirty. Regardless, long story short, it was yeah, only twenty million amazing. off. Yeah, it was crazy. That's amazing. And if that's you, amazing. there's a video when. Uh, the video he was talking to Mike. Yeah. He was literally like, and uh, hey man, it's looking like it's drying up over there. You know, this couch was empty before you sat in it. I think you look perfect in it. Damn. <laughs> nah. 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 Yeah. yeah, for real. Yeah, nah, it's crazy. How y'all feel about the Mike Maylag dude though? Cause it, I got two different feelings on him. It's like, one, I do think he's a good podcaster because he does. I don't like him now. Yeah. And it's because of this video that uh, he, don't, he doesn't know how to swim for all intents and purposes. Ever, out of everybody that's ever worked in that space, they all have their own shit. Yeah. He's the only one who hasn't like tried to like mm, for uh, all intents and purposes fail. And that's a lot you. of people's uh, sentiment. You know what I mean? Within this family, but within everybody, everybody has like their own thing going thing on. Going on. Yeah, he's the only one. And then actually, uh, so he don't have nothing going on. It's just, it's just not his it's job is being Logan's. If you play it, Bradley friend. Brill. I said Bradley Bill. What's this nigga? Bradley Medley? Martin. That, that big, dude right there? Bradley Martin. Right that's his name, Bradley Martin? His, yeah. That's that's not Bradley that's not Martin. Bradley. No, that's, that's not him, but the big brolic nigga. The big brolic nigga. He's about to talk. Nigga, yeah, yeah, the big brolic nigga is Bradley, Bradley Martin. Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not because of this, but he's about to talk. And he's about to be like, so yeah, man, just be honest. Like, you're afraid to fail. Um, you know, you're afraid to be a loser because oh, of shit. what you come from. But yeah, you can just play it. I'm no, but this off. is... Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Keep this off screen, right? Yes, full send. Is this full send or raw talk? I think this is full. Center. This is full. Center. So Cause, no, cause, this cause is the Kyle same. It. It's the same concept. You yeah. can just play but this Kyle too. Was there. No, no, we were just trying to figure uh, out what, what platform it was yeah. on. Yeah. Don't, yeah, well, don't, fully yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh yeah, no, nah, I don't play this. <laughs> you could have had more of George's back, and I, I, I felt like what you, what you guys did was very wrong. I what, when you said what you guys I, did, what do you mean by that? I just like, when what, I when I seen no no when I seen like he's defensive like that whole like you know religion stuff yeah um. I feel as if, man, you do love George that much to like where you could have had his back in that pod. Did you? But I think that you held back because Logan obviously is your boy, and that's somebody you look. Well, George that's is my. Like a, well, George is my boy too. I know, but and if you and if you really watch the pod I back, just, I you'll see a number of times where I told Logan that he was I out just, of line. I didn't. I didn't respect that at all, and that's this the is, only reason on. why I say that. And I know I'm not. I'm generally not saying this because, like, obviously, it's gonna get clipped. We no, are no, no, no. It's fine. And by no, the way, it's gonna get clipped. But like, out, as for sure, when I like actually watch that, bro, like to go after somebody that's like a, a literally a host on the Salim page. Salim, I have a question for you. Yeah. Did you watch the whole now, podcast? Pause. Can we rearrange seats? Like, like genuine. It's the wrong video. Go to the uh, <laughs> go to the. Uh, he doesn't know how to swim. But to the point, like, of like, you know. Everybody, you know, kind of having that same sentiment. Like, even this nigga was like, yo, that's kind of fucked up. Is this what Bradley was about to say right here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, no. So, this Canadian nigga, Kyle. he's a. Uh, Kyle. 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 I don't know. He'd be is he dyslexic? He'd he be does. comfortable as shit on these podcasts. But is he dyslexic, though? I think it's because he's. Is he a I'm part sure. of the big R community? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. You, just play it. Just play it. I don't know. His, you think he likes social cues or something? Just play it. <laughs> Pulsa for like a long time? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, as long as he's able to make time in his schedule, we've got some... We've got it some. almost seems like Logan yeah. doesn't really need it anymore, obviously, right? Like he's WWE superstar now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he... Uh, I mean, that's his platform to push like crime married. and shit. Like, yeah, it's... It, listen, he's like... Got a kid unless he way. really enjoys it, obviously, but yeah, it's almost like he's definitely like almost graduated from it, right? Yeah, I think I think his his like fervor for it has definitely slowed down a lot. You know, and I sometimes I, I I can I can sense that. And we've also we've also I mean, listen, like that show similarly to Nelk, like in general, and like you know, like we, maybe we talk about this a little bit, was built on friendship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like built on a, a unbreakable bond now, between the people that sat on that show together. You know, and when we can't keep playing it, but it's going to be a lot more of that. 
Okay. You get what I mean? It's going to be a lot more of rigor mode. Well, you got to remember he's a he's a clean junkie now. He is. And oh. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I, they I are. Know they're you know. I didn't know that a clean junkie. Who, who can explain anything better than a junkie? You know what I'm saying? There's, exactly. You know, they'll they'll, they'll come up with a million literally. reasons for anything. Nigga. Yeah, I could go. Obviously. For which which yeah. adds to him being a good podcaster because the nigga can go. Yeah. He, uh, he, uh-huh. he, don't, he knows how to not run out of things to say. Yeah. If and, you can justify doing drugs, you can justify anything. Yeah. You can, you can so, debate any yeah. topic. And it's, a, it's about believing it. Right? Because believing it is the hard part. We can all think of some shit to say. But yeah. believing what that is what different. You're, it's crazy, but if you skip, so I did like I do like him in yeah. term when it when the pressure's not on and you really see character things. I do like him as a podcaster. So, like I remember when he went to Raw Talk a mm-hmm. couple months ago, I was like, uh-huh. "Oh shit, let me check it out." Bradley yeah. and Bradley and this nigga, yeah, I can enjoy that. Yeah, I can, I can enjoy that. Mm-hmm. So I've always enjoyed him, and even Adam Twenty Two yeah. interviews would be good too. Yeah. But it, it's it's almost it almost feels like he's a leecher. If you do skip, yeah, about there. See right. about that. Yeah, yeah. It's only about leecher. ten seconds. Single, right? Yeah, for sure. Was well, the we, show doing better then? I mean, he grew up. Yeah, yeah. It like, was. He grew up. Yeah. That's a whole. See, part that raw shit sells though, and it's like you know that's why it's always being it, brutally honest. It's always fun to be to be hot or even somewhat relevant in this space for the amount of time that everyone in this room has. Hit pause real quick. You, you, uh, put him on the screen. Look at this. He is intense. He is he is fighting for his life in this conversation. <laughs> you, right now. You, you, you have know what I'm saying? But like, you got to understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His Q's. body language is fighting for his life in this yeah, combo. It's yeah, really yeah. like it's yeah. defensive. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But he knows that a camera is on him. Yeah. So he's it's, got a, it's comp- so many things it's going a lot on. Of things. And the way these niggas. It's, these Look at niggas, the way he's aiming. Not only that, these niggas are huddled up on the couch. Skip forward a little bit more yeah. just, just so we can see them on the couch. And that's actually perfect time too, because. Uh, but there's three people on that couch though. Like Celine was there too. It's yeah. like and the only person what, not afraid. No, is Kyle. And, and Celine and he ends up coming. Yeah, so like, so it's another yeah, nigga yeah, coming. Yeah. So we're all past the pause. It's like no uh-huh. nigga, just make some space for me. I gotta cook this nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's literally a bunch of sharks circling this nigga in the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's looking around like uh, he can feel the attack coming. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So he knows what's up. Yeah, but yeah. But he can still close his legs. That's a little egregious. We all Colin, on this couch oh, and sitting yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's there's no egregious. way that if there was another person on this couch that he would be allowed to sit. That's like you, that. that's your American mindset. You're you right. got to think like a Canadian. He is Canadian. I need to be you got to think like a Canadian. Yeah. But yo, Brad, whenever Bradley starts talking, you just play from there. Uh, oh, whenever Bradley starts Mike talking, is still talking though. So keep well, just play. Just keep well, going. I, no, I, I clicked already though. No, I want to. We got to skip through this. Yeah, we got to skip through that because that's all. That's all. Just play talking. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying keep going to Bradley, right? No, just play Stein it right now. in the building. That's my nigga. Just play it right now. Yeah, right I'll there. play it right now. Okay. okay. Mike, that's the thing I don't understand about awesome. you, though. If you know that to be true and, like, your time span in this whole space, why are you so afraid of I doing your own I, thing? Oh, he's Brad, I, honestly, it's, 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 it's deeper than it's, – it's a, it's a deep-rooted issue that I have with myself that I'm, that I'm working on. I really am, and I've made – I believe the thing that woke me up to the potential of the show is – when by way of multiple conversations, including the one that I just had on George Janko's show, yeah. I was woken up to the impact that I could have on people that suffer from the shit that I do. You know what I'm saying? And like now, when you put something like that in somebody's life, if I turn it down now, I'm a bad person. Now I'm not doing the work that I should be doing for the community. You know what I'm saying? So I think my show is going to have a lot of, a lot of impact. Speaking like of the community, great. Uh, speaking of the community, I just want to say hats so off. So if you Kyle. pause it. For, uh, and you analyze what he said. I don't think he answered the question. He didn't. But <laughs> in a pure junkie fashion, <laughs> right, like, right, he, yeah. he, he just he stated answered the way, way he should have answered it. Exactly. Yeah. Very political. And but, Bob Minery being there is is crazy for those who don't know. Like yeah. with a lavalier. Good... The fact that Bob Minery is there, he's always hooded up. Yeah, with a lavalier. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> just this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just yeah. that nigga's wild in itself. It so, be feeling like he has the least the, amount of stock in uh, how this goes. He does because he was an he was an original partner. They yeah. broke off. Then uh-huh. they split. Then they would, there was it, litigation. There was like beef for a while. It was yeah. because he yeah. was suing him. He was suing. Yeah. Full send, Dana White, mm-hmm. all these people for his percentage. He got paid out for the happy dad. Now that everything is settled, the mm-hmm. dust is clear, he dropped all the lawsuits. Kick your feet up. He's kicking his feet up and no. just kind of riding at this yeah, point. Not yeah, not taked out. Yeah. He got what he wanted. <laughs> yeah, but nah, it's crazy. Everybody making it Mike's time, though. Or mm-hmm. this could be like the biggest ploy to like, you know, push his, you know, new show if it's coming. But how do y'all feel about the greater point of like, you know, you're supposed to defend your co-hosts when they're getting bullied, right? Yeah, that's crazy. 
Yeah, I think we're all on the same wave. Like, yeah. It's kind of crazy when... Uh, but it, it's like that question, it was his co-host like bullying him. Yeah, oh, yeah. You true. get what I mean? Yeah. Not, not, not a random person coming yeah. in. Because it's like if... Like the context is like yeah. a comedian bullying another comedian. Like what? Fight for like your, you nigga. Fight, fight for yourself, nigga. Hey, yeah. You say that's what you are. It's <laughs> right, like, right, right, it. right, it's right, easy, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? But nah, uh, yeah, nah. It was crazy. But I did watch a little bit of the Bobby Lee apology. That was a little funny too. I think I'm on. Uh, I'm on Team George Jenko. Word. Yeah, I think so. I think so too. I just it's so easy to not like Logan. Yeah. I've heard hey, him talk about it a lot too before. So Yeah, yeah. even though I love like I, I think he's going crazy business wise because he's really about to he really made Prime stand next to fucking Gatorade. That yeah. is insane. Yeah. That's insane. Same with these note boys. Mm. Happy dad. Is happy dad crazy. is that's a yeah. happy dad. Yeah. It's happy dad. Yeah. That's that's crazy. And it's, I kind of feel crazy I've never had one. And it's weird, right? I, I feel like either. it's an industry plant. To where the numbers are a little skewed, right? Yeah. Because it's like, I be seeing Miller Lights, the Coronas. I haven't seen a Happy Dad's I in a, a happy, white person's hands, though. I saw one in a white person's hands for the first time while we were in L.A. Was he a ginger? I was about to say, it might be a little regional, too. Yeah, yeah. It they, might be a little regional. I think I've seen it in the like a gas station. I've seen it in a, like one of those gas stations over near NC State, mm. though. You know those little wolf pack stores or whatever? Yeah, but I have around the colleges there. and the schools yeah, and all uh, that. Which is their target. Yeah, I was going to say, you should get here is, for sure. Yeah. Prime is everywhere. We, Prime is everywhere. Food line, it's, Target, It is Walmart, next to Gatorade, nigga, yeah. which is crazy. BP. So, I can't hate on no nigga that can get a product off like that. Especially but, a beverage. Yeah. You slinging a beverage, yeah, nigga? you slinging a beverage. A sports beverage? Yeah, That's not so. easy. It's not easy to do. When you get the beverage, though, you got the beverage. But you have to have the kids first. And the Which kids are does. important. Got to have the kids. Yep. Got Him have and the KSI. Kids. Shout out KSI. He's the black uh, superhero in this uh, equation, too. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to mention all the black people that are part of this, too. But all right. Let's, uh, where should we go next? 